everyone. Welcome back to Newton's Nuggets. Okay, so this is the show. And do you know what? I do this description every time. You've got a bloke in a trilby and a black shirt. He's a magician who's not allowed out to do magic tricks at the moment. You've got Jesse, his mate, who does all the technical stuff and all the editing stuff and all the clever stuff in the background. And every so often, if I'm really lucky, Jesse says, hello, Jesse. Nope. <laughs> you said a long pause. Go on, go on, go on. All right, I'll, I'll line it up better, okay? And then we got Jesse. Say hello, Jesse. No. But is that it? <laughs> you is that said the, the other the week. World? You said the other week. You said one one time Jesse's not going to do it. So this is that time. Yeah. yeah. And you even messed with it last week when it went out on the podcast. But <laughs> yeah, I did. I had awful yeah. sound issues last week, so I apologise, everyone. Uh, yeah, is yeah. a little bit smoother. Say smoother once more. Smoother. Uh, and again for all the boys at home. <laughs> no. Smoother. Nice, nice. And once more for Nikki. Smoother. <laughs> Brilliant. That was for a specific someone, but now anyone called Nikki in the whole world think that it's just for them. Just yeah. for them. Um, what are we doing? Oh, we're doing um, an interview. We, we yeah. have an interview this week. Um, do we? Should we save the other announcements until after the interview? Uh, no, let's go with it now because people will be lost by the time they're in the middle of this interview because it is good. It is really good. It is yeah. really good. Right, so while we were in this interview, um, the, today's interview is with a man called Crosley, Crosley. He is the mindset master. He helps people figure out their mindsets to help them get to where they want to be. And he talks about goal setting and he talks about CMI, which is clear mental image. And that's one of the things that he taught me years ago. Now, while we were in the interview, um, we've currently got the book being launched and it's going out on Amazon and it's available at other good bookstores as well. Um, but we're literally waiting on Amazon to click the button to make the book live on their website for pre-order. And when we finished the interview, uh, Jesse and I had been talking about this just before the interview. Okay. When we finished the interview, I thought, do you know what? In our five minute break, I'm going to go and check because the chances of it being live now when it's late in the evening and, you know, I'm sure everyone sensible is in bed and things like that. There's no chance it would have gone live now. I went on there and the book's live to pre-order. <laughs> and that's just that. <laughs> Woohoo! So, yeah, while, while we're literally... Which everybody yeah. will know by the time that they watch this, because obviously they've watched all of our marketing from yesterday by the time yesterday, this goes Yesterday. And Paul definitely didn't release anything by accident the night before. That definitely hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I look forward to all the notifications, do I? (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sorry, Jesse. How mean is that, though? Right, so it's it's now Monday. Jesse has told me I'm not allowed to tweet about it. I'm not allowed to put it on Facebook. Nothing. All I'm allowed to do is tell Mrs. Pauly that it's there. Mm -hmm. Meanie pants. So tell you what. What are we going to do? First of December is the launch date. 1st of December is official launch date. You can pre-order on Amazon, and then as soon as it launches, and it's got some best price deal as well on it, which I don't really understand. But it's about, it's, it's about 15 quid, and whatever the best price is that Amazon can get it for is what you'll pay for it. Other than that, I don't know what they're doing. Uh-huh. Um, so, ladies and gents, you lot go and listen to our interview with Mr. Cross Crosley. We're going to do an advert first, then it'll be Cross Crosley. I'll, I'll just have a little read of something I just happened to have on my bookshelf. And I'll see you all later. Have fun. This advert is all about Aeris Consultancy. Now, Aeris, uh, uh, they're a great bunch. I, I mean, I've met and spoken with the owners, Stuart and Dev. And do you know what? They have a specific set of skills that turn confusion into strategy where your cybersecurity is involved. Good, huh? 
But you know what? I talk to a lot of businesses about security and about cyber and about how muddy the waters are, where GDPR is concerned and where so many regulations are. It just gets difficult for anyone to manage and to understand. Aeris have a way of pulling you out of the mud and making this understandable again. Seriously, if you need any help, please go to aeris.com and talk to Stuart or Dev. Uh, tell them that I sent you. Tell them that you know me. They will love helping you out. They really are a great couple of guys. Go and have a look at aeris.com. We'll put the website up on the screen to make it easy. So if you want to talk to Aeris, go to www.aerice.com. Newton's Nuggets. Hello everyone, welcome to Newton's Nuggets. I am so excited today. I really am. This guy, I've I've known him for a good few years now. I've been working with him and he's been helping me and nudging me. And I say that lovingly because there's times that I've received messages from Cross when he's just known that I need to kick up the backside. Um, that's kind of what he does. Ladies and gents, I'm not going to tell you too much about him. I'm going to let him do that himself. But I want to introduce you to... Cros Crosley, the mindset master. Cros, welcome, mate. How are you? I'm brilliant. Thanks a lot. As good as anyone could be in the current situation. <laughs> mate, it's a weird situation, isn't it? Considering me and you spend most of our lives on stages in front of people, and now we're not allowed to see those people. It's just, yeah. it's manic at the moment. And the unfortunate <laughs> thing as well is I spend more time on the golf course course and they even they're gone so i mean i'm really <laughs> dude i feel for you i oh, yeah, really I'm, feel for you the struggle's real i i bet mrs cross i won't say her name in case you don't want me to <laughs> i bet mrs cross is hating you being around that much <laughs> well it, it, it's all right we've been together 53 years so we're getting used to each other now but, do you know what this is i've seen a lot of relationships have trouble because of this whole lockdown thing and yeah. then there's me and my wife who just love laughing with each other every day and we're still having fun. And that's it. Mate, that's what it's about, isn't it? Right, sorry, Cros. First question that I'm going to have to ask you because there are some weird people out there who haven't heard of Cros Crosley, okay? Oh, I so, believe you. who are you and why should they listen to you? Right, my name is Cros Crosley and for the last 30 years I've been working with businesses and individuals to let them know how powerful their mind is in achieving everything they want. And how did I learn this and get involved? Very simple. I thought I knew everything. And when I was 40 odd years old, I lost everything. And I'd been very successful in business and I'd read every book that ever written about self-development and making money. And when I needed it most, guess what? It didn't bloody work. <laughs> right? Because the whole thing comes from a relaxed situation. And if you're not relaxed, it doesn't matter how much you try, however much you say, I'm going to put that extra bit of effort in, it doesn't work. And so I set about finding out how to make self-development, how to make these teachings work. And if you want a truth, a little secret, I set out to prove it was a load of rubbish because I just couldn't believe what I was being told, that yeah. if you do this, this will happen. And I said, oh, yeah. So I went in and I thought, in all fairness, if I don't do this to the letter, I can't turn around and say it worked or it didn't work. And I liken that to a story of when I was in um, Bali, and there was a guy with the, you know, the rings, the five rings. I've actually, I'm not, I haven't got it in there, but I've still got the thing, the five rings. And he was doing all this with it and everything. Yeah. And I thought, go on. Like he said, it's easy. It's easy. I said, I'll have some of that. So I said, it'd be great up the pub tonight doing all that. So I bought them and he went under the counter to get a set. I said, no, no, no. I want the ones you're using. So he gave me the ones he was using. So I knew they worked. Yeah. And then went home to the hotel and after an hour, I couldn't get, I couldn't do it. But could I say that the trick didn't work? No. The only thing I could truly say, I wasn't prepared to put in the effort and time required to make it work. And that's no different to these teachings. 
mate, I know some people who are amazing at that exact trick. And and you know my love of magic. You know my love of yeah. entertaining. And, and you're right, to become a master at that one trick takes hours and hours of dedication. And what you said there, right. See, I, I'm similar to you, as in I'm a massive skeptic, okay? I, I Because I know how the tricks work, I'm a massive skeptic. And I go into a lot of these things with, this probably won't work. And I remember one of the first times you and I met and you started talking about, you, you know, you've got to have a, a, no, I'm not going to say that. You've got to have a clear goal. You're going to have a yeah. clear goal. I nearly used one of your phrases and I don't want, yeah. you, I want you to use your phrase. You've got to have a clear goal and know where you're going. And I was like, well, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then you started breaking it down a bit more as in to, if that clear goal is there, then you've got to travel towards it. And I was like, well, yeah, that makes sense. And that makes sense. And then something you just said was, I did it to the letter to prove it wouldn't work. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah. Because let's be honest, if I could take a young lad who wants to be a magician and I could teach them everything to do, they would end up being a magician. But the amount of times you see someone who goes, I want to do that trick. No, no, you've got to do all these steps before you get there. Precisely. Precisely. It, mate, it's so true. It's And it, it's, it's no different. It's no different in any part of life is the, 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 the fact of you are only. It's like the old adage that um, uh, Gary Player, the more I practice, the luckier I get. Yeah. The golfer. Yeah. The more I practice, the luckier I get. Yeah, I've heard um, Tiger Woods say similar. Yeah. He, he said, you know, what people don't see is all the times I missed when I was practicing. Yeah, that's and, it. And yeah. I've learned what works. And and yeah. basketball players who say they don't, you don't see the 98% of shots that, that miss because I'm trying to find yeah. out what's not working for me in practice. Yeah. And Precisely. then when they come onto the court, they're so used to taking that weird shot, they nail it. And you see, the thing is, with with all this um, stuff, you see, is that, you know, it's you, most people, they want instant gratification. Yeah. And that's why so many self-development books get sold, because they don't work. What works is reading it, applying it, seeing what happens and what doesn't happen, commenting, reading it again, doing it again, reading it again. But what we do, the human species, what we do is we read it, don't work. I tell you what, get another one. Read it, don't work. Get another one. And everyone makes that same thing. And it wasn't until I was told You've got to follow. And in The Science of Getting Rich, Wallace Wattles says, if you do exactly what I tell you to do, you cannot fail to get rich. I always say to be a success because rich is so variable to different people. A hundred pound might make someone rich and a million pound might make someone feel poor. So it's all relevant. But I say success. You cannot fail provided you do what you're told and I tell all my clients I say if you do what I tell you to do I make you one promise you will do less and earn more provided you do what I tell you to do and I ain't failed yet because I don't work with everybody <laughs> <laughs> there is a there is a certain qualifying process and if I think during initial talking with you that I can't see the spark and the energy that we need, then I don't worry. But, but then you see, it's an ongoing journey. My longest client's been with me now nearly two years, but the, what they, what they pay me pales into insignificance to what they've actually got now. And I'm not sure whether they're just hanging on to me because they feel guilty telling me to bow, to bow her off. <laughs> but I don't know. But um, I, 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 I did, everyone who works with me, I, every time an invoice, before every invoice, it says, if you if you don't want an invoice, there's, there's no trouble. We're not, we you know, you're not on any contract or anything at all. But uh, th 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 See, this is another subject that I wanted to talk to you about. I see a lot of self-development gurus who want to charge eight grand for a day now for everyone here to be as clear as possible i've been on one of cross's training days okay yeah. one and i've 
I've bought a book and actually you gave me a book free of charge before I'd spent any money with you as well. Okay. And it was when I was going through a really tough time and you sent it to me with a little note, yeah. kicking me up the backside. Okay. And yeah. I, I still remember that. And I've still got that book in my bookshelf now. Um, and, and, Right, they are the one day workshop that I went on. I really hope you don't mind me saying this, Cross, but I spent under 150 quid. Yep. Now, the fact is, since then, you've helped me out with other stuff and you haven't charged me. Yeah. And then you've got these gurus who, who pay good lip service and they're charging thousands of pounds to people. But then I get to work with someone like you who helps me out because you're going, no, Paul, you've got a something. You've got a something there and we've got to develop that. Um, I know I know at least one of your clients, maybe maybe two of your clients. Right, two of your clients that I know of, Brad Burton and Chris Dawes, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Both of them have been on this show. They are both ridiculously laid back and happy with their lives. Now, yeah. I think that is massive success. And that is the common denominator with all my clients. They are, they are relaxed and happy because I wrote 25 years ago, wherever happiness goes, success and wealth are sure to follow. Because everyone tries to do it the other way around. They always say, when I get success, I'll be happy. And when I get wealth, I'll be happy. And it doesn't work that way. Because if you wait to be happy, you'll get to that place and you might get momentary gratification, but you won't get long-term gratification. Basically, in layman's terms, if you are a miserable bastard now, the odds are that you will be a miserable bastard when you arrive. So you just become a miserable bastard with some money. Mate, right? I've, I've seen so many of those, exactly those people you're describing who've got a shitload of money, but absolutely no love in their world. I've got a client who would be nudging a billionaire. And he is the, well, he's not now, but when I met him, he was the most miserable person you could shake a stick at. And he got, I got put, he lives in Australia and he's got every single toy you can have. Planes, boats, all the bits and pieces, but nothing. See, it ain't no use having a huge boat if you've got no one to take on it with you. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, so it all starts falling a bit flat. So you've got to you've got to be that person that you want to be when you get there all the time. And what you do is you take the nucleus and it evolves into the person, all right? The person that you, you arrive there as an evolution of a nice person anyway, because... You see, the unfortunate thing about getting old of money, and this is why a lot of people that I work with, they start getting old of money comparatively easily and comparatively quickly to what they've been used to. And then we have to have the chat about, listen, this changes. You, you're, not, you're changing, but the way people react to you changes. And I learned this. When I first started getting old of a few quid, I was in a restaurant with a load of me mates and I sit in there and then the bill come up and I took it. I said, don't worry, lads, I'll do this. Flash bastard. Flash yeah. bastard. Right. So I thought next time we were out, I know how to solve this. I know how to sort it out. When the bill come up, I said, right, let's carve it up. Share it. Tight bastard. Tight bastard. Right. So once you realize that you can't win doing what they expect you to do. You have to do exactly what you want to do, right? So now when I go into a restaurant and I want to pay the bill, I pay it and I don't care what anyone thinks. And when I go into a restaurant and I want to share the bill, I share it and I don't care what anyone thinks, right? And I'm very good when people say to me, can I do this? And I say, yes, certainly, right? Because sometimes giving is harder to do than receiving i mean receiving is harder to do than giving some people don't know how to receive right so that is a lesson and, and as you get hold of money things start changing and it's and i like to think that i've, I've been there i mean you 
you sort of know a bit of my story, but I multi million pound thing had Rolls Royces, Ferrari, oh. big houses, all the bits and pieces, right? But then I lost everything. And during that transitional period, what I call transitional disruption, when things change, there's disruption. And the only way to get the other side of that disruption is to have a goal, a clear mental image of where you're actually going. And once you've got that clear mental image, it's great. And, you know, there's a certain way of how you create that because it mustn't involve money. It's got to involve, it's got to involve what you will do with the money, which is a subtle difference, right? Okay. So that if you, if you have money, money is a very restricting goal. Because sometimes you can have, I want to, I want my business to take 10 grand a month. So subconsciously you've done it. So when you get the 10 grand a month, guess what your mind does? It relaxes. Yeah, it goes. And that's it. You've done it. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done, Paul. You've done it. And then you go along. Now you might be missing out on 15 and 20 grand a month. Yeah. Because you've actually, that your goal, you see, and the thing is that that is why you've got to set your goal, your clear mental image to what you can't possibly imagine at the moment. Because, right, most people set their goals based on what they think they can get. Right. But you've got to set your goal, your clear mental image on what you want. Right. And a quick thing for everyone listening and you two guys here now. Cast your mind back 10 years. Go, go back 10 years. Yeah. Can you imagine being where you are now? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I don't care how bumpy the ride's been. I don't care what, but you are definitely in a different place than where you were 10 years ago. That's with all the trials and tribulations. And if someone had said to you 10 years ago, write down, Paul, exactly where you're going to be in 10 years time. You couldn't have done it. No. You wouldn't have even got close. Amazing, isn't it? And you've done that without knowing where you were going. You imagine what happens when you know where you're going. Right? That's it. Then another thing that happens, I'm going to tell you a lot of little secrets today. We, we like that. Another, There's nobody else listening, Cross. You carry on. No, no, I just, this is just between us, all right, guys? Yeah. But the other thing is that... People say to me, right, there's the clear mental image. And actually, I've got a board here. I've just done a, a workshop with someone which has got it all written on it. I might pull that over in a minute if you want, and we, I can show you some. Mate, I'd love to. We've only, we've only got like 20 minutes left, but I'd love to. We're going to do a whole day. Well, I'll pull it over just quickly. It might, it might be good. Hang on a second. Jesse, it's like we're getting trained by Cros and pretending we're doing a podcast. This is awesome. This, I, I don't, why didn't we think of this earlier? Jesse, we are going to get away with so much here. It's unbelievable. We, we're now going to get literally cross teaching us on a whiteboard without Can us you even see that. Cross. This is a, right. Awesome. Right. Okay. So this is just, I just did a little um, a workshop with a, a company yep. online, right? Got it. Okay. You, can you see it? Yep. And right, I'm so okay. happy you brought up clear mental image because that's one of the things from you that has stuck with me for years. And there's lo there loads of little things. I tell you what, all the way through, I've had people that I'm still, the very first workshop I did was 25 years ago, right? And I'm still in touch with, I would say, 70% of the people from that workshop. And they come up and they say, oh, do you know those two things you told me that, that, that lived with me, like you sitting on my shoulder? So... After 30 years, I've tried to work out to make stuff digestible, right? Because a lot of people, they whip a load down your thing and they give everything funny names. Yeah. Right? NLP, EFT, cups of tea, MOTs, guarantees. They've got all these different names for things, right? Yep. But at the end of the day, this is Cross's secret of success. Science. I like this. I like this. This is it. After 30 years, there ain't nothing else you need to know other than what's on that board. Loads and loads of different things, but it's the hardest thing to do. So what happens is I tell people about the CMI, the clear mental image. Create it. 
and they all do it. Yeah. And I said, no, no, come on a bit more. If you want an house overlooking the ocean in Cornwall, log it in. Because if you're not clear about it, your mind can't help you get there. But provided you know what it is, it will get you there. Buy a red car and see what happens. You never knew there were so many there. That's called your reticular activating system. That is nature's way of getting you what you want. It thinks you like red cars. Here, cop for this. There's another one, another one, another one. Right? So everything's automatic, provided you allow it to happen. So I tell people how to get their clear mental image. Yeah. And they say to me, well, how do I get there? Do you know what I tell them? I ain't got a bloody clue. Because <laughs> everyone's journey is going to be different, right? So you've got to be Compare honest about that these to those things. gurus who try and sell right? certainty. No, I ain't got a clue. I just know you'll get there if you do what I tell you to do, right? So I know, without any shadow of a doubt, I don't know if you can see that there, Yep. You'll know how to do the next step. You'll know how to do the next step because you know where you're going, right? And provided you know where you're going, there's no way known you can't get there, all right? So every the how you get there is lots of little hows, right? And every time you get onto the next how, the next step becomes clear. So then the other thing you've got to do where a lot of people falter, you've got to make where you are, where you want to be. See, so many people live in the future or in the past. Yeah. Right? They look at the past, oh, what happened there? So that's, a, that, that's an excuse for things going wrong now, that divorce. Yeah. When, when was that made? Of course, that's something you could have fallen into easily when you lost everything. Oh, that's how I learned this. I had to forgive that geezer. We ain't got time to go into that. That's a whole new trip. We'll have to have a, a complete series on me um, sort of forgiving someone. But the very quickly... We could do that. We yeah. wouldn't mind doing that. <laughs> we, can have a, we can have a series. But listen, this, you make, this is the most important. Make where you are where you want to be. And if you've got a gate that every time you go in squeaks, repair it and see how good you bloody feel. Simple little things like that. Make where you are, where you want to be. As you've laid in the bedroom, say, I tell you, it'd be nice, I'd paint that wall blue. It'd look lovely. Don't keep thinking about it, do it. So you make your environment where you want to be. And then you're not trying to escape. Everybody's saying, oh, it'd be all right if I got a bigger house, it'd be all right. Do you know what? This is a two bedroom house, 100 yards from the River Thames, right? And it's beautiful. There are the, I, every time I walk into it, and I've been here eight years, it's the longest I've ever lived in an house. And every time I walk in, I say, do you know, I love this house, right? And I don't care. And do you know what the funny thing is? All my rich mates come around here and they go, all their big houses with all the gardeners and everything. And they say, this is just what I want. <laughs> right? so, but that, that, so make where you are, where you want to be. Yeah. And I, had a, I was nearly told, got myself into trouble then. So I had a bloke here at the weekend, but we're in lockdown, but they can't even come back. But listen, so <laughs> make where you are, Don't, where... If any police where, come to this cross. It was, a, nah, it was a business deal. Oh, that's all right. right. You're, allowed, you're allowed up to yeah, that. Yeah, it was on business, yeah. yeah right. So make where you are, where you want to be. Then you're not constantly trying to escape. Yeah. Once you're relaxed, all these teachings depend on you relaxing. And once you relax, you'll find that things will flow naturally because we, what we're doing is we're tapping in to your natural ability. Yeah. Right. We're making this do all the bloody work because the thought creates the feeling that creates an emotion and the emotion creates your result. Crazy, isn't it? How simple is it? Right. <laughs> How you feel creates the result so make where you are where you want to be and the thing is that people they go to the past you say well how's things going mate well all right but it'd be all right if it weren't for that divorce so when was your divorce mate oh 10 years ago oh yeah yeah but the divorce settlement it was unfair oh yeah well how's that working for you dragging that bloody great big problem around with you for 10 years right that's what we do but every time someone asks him how things are going if they ain't going too well he can blame that yeah rubbish get rid of it you don't need it. And if it's a person, forgive them. And we do a program on forgiving if you want. Forgive them. 
hardest thing. If you read my book, you've read my letter I wrote to the guy that nicked my business, right? So, and that's where I learned all this stuff. I learned about getting rid of the past. I learned about making where I was going to be, right? You imagine losing it, lost all my houses, my cars and everything. And then I was back in a bit of rental property. But you know what? I loved it there because I made it nice. And every time I went home, I enjoyed it. So everywhere I am, and if it ain't where I want to be, guess what? I'll move on. I ain't there no more. Where you are, where you want to be. Then look at this. This is the magic. We've got six minutes. So I can see that there. So very quickly, because otherwise this won't make no sense to anybody, right? So when you know where you're going, you get opportunities, right? Now, everything's an opportunity, right? Now, if I'm dying a first, that's the best opportunity you can have, isn't it? Glass of water, lovely. Yeah. If I ain't dying a first, I won't even notice that glass. Make sense? Yeah. Right? I'm, 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 uh, water, water, I need water. But when I ain't looking for water, it'll still be there, but I won't see it. I'll see it, but it won't register as something I need. So yeah. if you know where you're going, you'll know the opportunity. So if it's something that's not relevant, to you get into your clear mental image, you don't worry about it. You'll just bypass it and just... Yeah, a lot of people, they go around through life collecting things like this, right? And they've, got, they've all got the, the cup with no handle on it, just because you, in case you need the cup with no handle later in life. So you put it in the loft, right? And we collect all this junk with us and we carry it around with us. But when we... So, so why have I got that? Yeah. No. Why have I kept that? Why do I... Right? So once you know where you're going, the clarity becomes a filter to what is an opportunity and what's not. All part of this. And if you go off track, most people watching or listening to this, they will be here. And any road that they take will do. You know why? Because they don't know where they're going. And yeah. they say, and they say, yeah, I'm lost. I said, well, where are you going then, mate? I said, well, I don't know where I'm going. Well, you can't be lost if you don't know where you're going. You just are. So the best thing you can do, my friend, is create a clear mental image and start this process. Because I'm telling you, it don't fail, right? But if you do go off track and you know where you're going, only one road will do. That's that road back on track, right? So even when you're lost, turmoil, at the moment, all this turmoil that we're going through, all the problems, right? If you're in turmoil and you haven't got a destination, you're in trouble. Don't worry about directions, no good. Everyone's got direction because whatever you do, you're going in a direction. But if you've got a destination, that's what you need. Once you've got a destination, you cannot falter, right? Because you keep getting back on track. So once you've got faith and belief in this, and that's what takes the time, because what happens is people, I tell people to do things, and then they, they ring me up about a week later, they go, yeah, cross, guess what happened? This happened, and I, and I have to go, really? Oh, now, now what I've done is I've got a photograph of a shocked face, so I don't have to keep doing it. I just go, click it back, send the photograph. Yeah, really? no, I like, know, because you've it to me. I know, I know you could torture me you ain't going to get me to betray these teachings because thousands of people have experienced them and made them work. And I've made them work for me. Look at me, 72 years old. I play golf. I fly off at the drop of an app business class. I go into South Africa for two months in a minute. Right. Listen, that's living. That is living. And right. That, I want, I want a life that me and my wife and my daughter can be proud of and happy. Great. And the thing is, you know what most people say? Go on. How does that silly old bastard keep, get any money? He don't ever do anything. He's always on the golf course. Right? Don't, just nice and relaxed. Don't take, don't, just keep the old thing going like that, nice and smooth. And that's another thing, you see, what I teach people, everyone's going work-life balance. Well, who wants that? Who wants to do as much work as they do play? I don't. I want to play much more than I work, right? So I believe it's a straight line. And once you know these teachings, you'll know when you've got to work. 
But more importantly, what people forget, you'll know when you want to play and you'll have the time and money to allow you to play. Mate, right. OK, I said to you that we're going to get to the close of this and I'm going to ask you one big question. Um, Jesse, it's right. happened again, mate. I had a list of questions for Cross. I've done oh. all. OK, this is just... That's my problem. Mate, thank you. Um, Cross, the main question that I need to ask you, I need to have your one nugget of information that you think will help everyone listening to this. Accept what you can't change and change what you can immediately. Nice. Nice, mate. I, I was going to ask you so many things about you and, and your relationship with Brad as well and how you met and what you've been up Do to. Do it again. Have another one. If people, if people liked it and they want to come and have another chat, I'll be up for that. Seriously, are you up for that? If yeah. I, yeah. Even if we give it a few months, I'll say, Cross, I yeah. want to do another one. Let's pick a subject and let's just chew yeah. through it. Are you okay with that? But all, they've all got to put it in the comments for you, saying, yeah, get that, get that lunatic back. Mate, do you know what? Me and Jesse have found that we now get more direct messages from people. It's almost like they don't want to admit Lovely. publicly what they're thinking, <laughs> but they direct message us and they say, this speaker was great on this and this one was great on it. Yeah. Right, mate, Lovely. we've been told we've got less than a minute now, okay? Great. I just want to say thank you so much for coming on here. I've loved it. I love your teachings. For anyone listening on the podcast, just go onto YouTube and have a look at the, the flipboard that Cross has done for us. Um, you've got to have a look at this. You've got to learn some of this stuff. Cross, thank you so much, mate, for your time. You have absolutely no idea how much I appreciate it. You're more than welcome. And uh, I look forward to doing something else with you, getting a bit deeper. But that's my biggest problem. They used yeah. to call me the hook in the old days because they say, they say, how long are you want to talk for? I said, well, just get an hook and drag me off when you've had enough. <laughs> Newton's Nuggets. Today, we have a quick advert for Genio Accountants. Now, their website is www.genio-accountants.co.uk. They do everything from sole trader accounts to massive incorporations. They do payroll for you. They do partnership accounts. They even do limited company accounts. And do you know what? They were one of the first companies to jump onto our crowdfunder and give us the support we needed to carry on. So I tell you what, if you need help with your accounts and you don't know who to call, don't call Ghostbusters. Call Genia. We'll put their website up just about here somewhere. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. And then it's back to us. You see, this is so smooth. <laughs> uh, we are so professional. It's unbelievable. Professional. But, Jesse, considering you didn't know Cros as well as I do, what did you think of that, mate? I, really insightful. I was supposed to be taking notes, and you know what I'm like. I end up just sort of drifting off listening to what they say, especially as he had the whiteboard out. So you know I love a whiteboard. I do. I do. Um, and he had notes, so I was concentrating on that. And it's funny, isn't it? The We've talked about this a lot off air, about keeping things simple. Yep. And how many people, you know, you talked about gurus, and anybody who knows me hates knows I hate the word guru. People who... You know, we've got the answers. If you follow my 3,000 step program, you're going to be a billionaire and all of this sort of thing. And I hate all of that. Um, High ticket sales, become a coach. Or yeah, all of these things. Yeah. And the reality is that some of them work for more people than others, but they're not basic principles. And um, I was talking to you today about somebody that I know that might be a future Nuggets guest who is starting up something on the, the basis that people need to know the basic principles of business. Yeah. Before they start trying to do all these clever things, you know, you just need to understand basic things like, you know, who am I marketing to? Who's my audience? How am I going to get in front of them? And how do I sort my finances out? And, you know, basic things yeah. that businesses need to run. Um, and because, like Cross has just been talking about, 
everybody just wants to be a successful business overnight. You know, we've got friends who have struggled because they've been running a business for a year and a half on the side of their main job and gone, oh, I haven't got very far. And you're thinking, well, it does take a long time. <laughs> yeah. You haven't even started on your journey yet, mate. Yeah. And so I, it's one of those things. I, I saw something recently about um, people posting all the positivity memes and things like that and how actually they can make people feel worse because yeah. they can't be that positive doing whatever it says all the time and you know be super successful in two months of work and all of this sort of thing and actually that's not the real world anyway yeah but yeah do you know what uh, so i said in the interview that i've been on one of crosby's day courses so he works with people a few ways. You can you can go and see his videos on YouTube. You can have day courses with a load of other delegates, and that's what I did. There was about 15 of us in the room. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember the exact cost. It was 100 to 150 quid. I'm, I'm not 100% sure anymore. 15 um, people in a room? Yeah. That concept is so last year. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> Six at <laughs> most. That includes the waiter. Now, anyway... <laughs> It's a, it's a, so I did one of them, and I've seen him talk at other events as well, uh, for which I didn't pay him for me to be there. Um, but even even the fact that he's got to know me well enough that when I was going through a rough patch, he sent me some stuff to help. And he, I know that he's never going to be one of these blokes that goes, right, it's it's eight to £10,000 a seat, and we're going to try and pack in as many people as possible. And there are certain gurus who do that. And those people get nothing personal at all. You know, they they just get to watch a show, to be honest with you. Um, but something that he, he kicked into touch for me was when I was on that course and he said, right, Paul, how did you get here today? And I just went in my car. Now, I then had the attitude of proving this was a load of rubbish, okay? And if I pick up a snippet of something that would help me, I'm happy. And he said, brilliant. Okay, so you got here in your car. Um, did you plan out the journey yourself? And I went, no, I've got sat-nav on my phone. And I just plugged in the postcode. And he went, right, how long did it take you to drive here? About an hour and a half. Okay. When you started your car, what did the sat-nav first say? And I went, take a right out my drive. Okay. Then what? About 10 metres later, take a left. And he went, right, then what? 100 metres later, take a left. Okay. Then what? At the T-junction, take a left and then do a right and a right. And, and he went, brilliant. <clears throat> Have you started getting to bigger roads now? And I went, yeah. You know, you're now on a road you can do 40 miles an hour on. How far to the next turn? And I went, about a mile. Okay. Then what? Fifth exit of the roundabout and stick on that for about three miles. And he went, okay. So the instructions are getting easier and further apart. But because you've built up speed, you get... And I was like yeah where are you going and he went life's exactly the same if you know where you want to get to and you're not doing all of the steps you crash i was like ah oh, you get you're right i thought <laughs> i was being clever saying i use a sat nav yeah but then chris he cross likened it to then why aren't you doing that in your real life you know, if you want to get to somewhere, figure out where it is you want to get to and then worry about all the little steps along the way. And something that came to me while we were doing that interview, mate, was if we hadn't started the mental theft journey, if I hadn't come up with that idea in the first place and decided that was the change that I wanted to make, what would I be doing right now? goodness knows it's probably the same same old thing that you were doing before really but this is it i couldn't even i wouldn't even be able to do magic tricks for people really no i wouldn't be able to do the stage shows and i was getting known for stage shows i'm not allowed on stage at the moment and, and i was looking at it and thinking about how years ago he taught me to have a cmi clear mental image that became mental theft and the good that we can do and how much we can help people. 
And he then, and even in his description, he goes, when you come off that journey, your brain will know the right way back to it. Don't worry. Mm. And I was like, oh, when I fell off that journey was when we went into that first massive lockdown. And I just kind of relaxed, calmed down, made some things out of pallets. And then at the right time, you called me and went, why don't we do this bit? Let, let's get this up and running and making this work. And we turned Newton's Nuggets into a YouTube show. I know. Then we Hi. turned it into a podcast. <laughs> then mental theft started gathering momentum again. May I right, this isn't woo for me. This isn't woo. This is a case of get your head into the game of where you want to be going. Mm. Because if you don't do that first bit, you're not even gonna start the journey right. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm saying. I, I think that's the point with what he's he's doing is simplifying it into things that you you know it, it it's funny isn't it? it it's even like we um we talked about um with jay we talked about fitness and things yeah you know, where do you want to be what do you want to be doing well okay well let's take take the steps let's not just try and jump to the end result straight away um because you'll never keep that up no um and and actually this sort of this message all the way th- keeps popping up all the way through keep things simple do things step by step do the bits that you need to do to get to where you're going yeah pay your dues as you go along you'll get there yeah the only way you won't get there is if you stop and part of that journey should involve this. <laughs> you see how I went into that part then. I, I went straight awesome. into sales right there. That that was awesome. That was everyone that's liked us for not selling so much has just switched. <laughs> just... You know, you know how much I hate all of that product placement and sales stuff. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yes, I do. But have you seen my new RFID card? <laughs> keeping it real jesse thank you mate but, you are welcome but you know what bye 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 mate if we can keep having the quality of guests that we've got used to mm. fingers crossed we'll make a difference yeah yeah we've had some really good guests haven't we we really have even from the start you know, first interview <laughs> was matt sterling I was going to say, we started with Matt Sterling. Amazing. Yeah, we started with a Hollywood stuntman who who is one of my favourite magicians and a brilliant buddy. Jeez, start as you mean to go on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I think we mean, maybe we need to get some rubbish guests so I don't feel inadequate. Well, we did one with just the two of us last week. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, Brilliant. Dude, anything else you want to say about Cross? No, he was great. I hope everybody enjoyed that. And I think and, we should get uh, him on again. You know what? Let's do a link to his book in Amazon. Yeah. Okay? We'll, we'll find a link to his book. Seriously, buy it after you've bought ours. <laughs> buy it after you've pre-ordered ours. Yeah, ours is currently available for pre-order. Please go click that purchase button, then go to Cross's link. How's that? <laughs> He's gonna I, I feel really back. uncomfortable with how much selling we're trying to do here. I don't know. I reckon we're just going to get a load of abuse after this one, and we probably deserve it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, bring it. We're used to it. Um, God, I've been bald since I was like 20. I'm used to it. I'm good. Do you know? Are we done? I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. A short one for us too. That's that's. It's all right. We still don't get paid for it either way. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, um, actually, do you know what? If if you if you watch this on YouTube, let me know if you think that this camera was working better because I was having autofocus issues with my last one, and if you're listening on podcast. Please let me know if you think the sound is better on this week or not, because the the microphone comes with the new camera. So fingers crossed, it's all working a bit better. 
and my my sound just should be fixed now. <laughs> Mate, I don't know what happened to your sound last week. I was having the fun times. It, it, was, it just went, no, I don't want to. <laughs> um, ladies and gents, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please go and support our advertisers. They are exactly how we can afford to keep cameras and kit running and things like that. Um, our, our advertisers are awesome supporters of us. I love you all to bits. Anything else? I think we're there. I think we're done. We were um, done like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, there's some new book out. Go, go, go. Yeah, read. yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, don't. Good night, everyone. Have a lovely Bye. day. Bye. <laughs>